Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a post review. Let's see if that... There we go. Look at this little beauty. This is my first ever Craftably, and I will do my best to remember to link everything in the eye that I am referencing. Um, I did do an unboxing on her very recently. Um... Didn't take me very long to do. Let me get into it real quick. A few boring housekeeping tips. If you are always directly to my left, I do have a fan running. Um, I am recording this while the tiny human is sleeping, so let's hope we don't hear any of those human noises. Those human noises? Tiny human noises. Um, however, you will hear husband noises because he is in the room currently sorting through his box of pop parts. Say hi, husband. Hello. So, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I always have the info for my husband linked in my uh, description down below. He goes by Data Monster on Instagram. It's D A D D A Monster, um, and he is a Funko Pop customizer. So he's currently sorting through a box of leftover parts. That has nothing to do with this video. So let's get into what this is about. So this is my first ever Craftily kit. As I said, this is from artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith, who is also known as Strangeling. Um, this is the adorable Sweet Isabella. Uh, Craftily is a U.S. based company and they ship out of their storefront in I want to say Texas. If I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will let me know down below. As always, if I ever say I'm going to link something and I totally forget or I can't find it or whatever the reason may be, just let me know. Sometimes it just slips my mind, especially if I'm recording a few things at once. Um, things get lost in translation. Anyway, if you hear me trailing off at all with my audio, it's simply because I have a notebook here. And I'm just making sure I have my notes. So, first things first. This is a round kit with 50 colors. It is a 29 and a half by 39 and a half. It was true to size. Um, no ABs in this, but I could easily... Look at that sparkle. I could easily pop some in. I think in the flower would look really nice. Let's see if I can pull you guys up a little bit more. Sorry for the weird angle. Oh. How cute is she, though? So, I purchased this. Uh, I wanted to get my feet wet. Um, I had never done a Craftably kit before, and I was really interested in it. And I'm trying to see if I wrote down the prices. Let me double check that real quick. And we're back. So double checked. Um, she was twenty four ninety nine, and I opted for the FedEx shipping. Um, I don't know if there are multiple shipping options available for everyone or if they are outside of the U.S. But for me, I had an option for USPS or FedEx. I chose FedEx, so that was twelve ninety one. So a little bit expensive for the size that she is, but I will say. Um, I really enjoyed the quality. Um, and I'm noticing, hopefully, non-editing Lindsay remembers that I found a drill that I forgot to place. Anyway, let's get into what I loved about this canvas and what I think could be improved on. So, the first thing I will say is the canvas was incredibly sticky. Um, probably the stickiest which is such a weird thing to say, of any kit I've ever worked on. Um, but it was still easy to work with. I know sometimes you'll get an adhesive and you can't really, there's not a lot of wiggle room, but this one, it was great. I loved working on it. The drill quality was great. Um, it didn't have a lot of trash. Um, keep in mind, the majority of my trash is usually like drills that have fallen out of the tray. But you can see here, there's lots of these little like mini drills. Um, and then I had a couple like this guy. Can we see it? Will it focus? That have a little extra on them. But other than that, I had very minimal uh, trash, which was lovely. Um, and that will go into my trash container when this is all done. Um, I really loved that it came with a sticker sheet that had labels for your drill containers. Um, this is, I opted to use my Harbor Freight. Um, there's 50 colors in this, so none of them had a whole lot in it, but I didn't really want to bust out the Elizabeth Ward 
Um, anyway, that's not why we're here. But look at these sticker labels. They're really great. They're really easy to read. They were very easy to use. Um, if you were placing these on um, a thinner storage container, like an Elizabeth Ward storage container, these may not fit. However, you can do with them what you want. Um, you don't even need to use them if you don't want to. Um, I've said it before, there's no right or wrong way to diamond paint. Just do it how you want to do it. And it also came with, I'm trying to grab things without making too much noise. It's probably going to be an epic fail. Um, this beautiful sticker, and you can see here's my paper log. I do keep track of it. There was a little bit more at the bottom here. It had start date and end date. I don't work on consecutive days, so I don't keep that track of that but I also had no room so this is perfect but this is what the image is and you can see the rendering of it was beautiful um it took me a total of four days and 11 hours and 47 minutes to complete this beautiful kit let's move these storage containers out of the way <laughs> Ooh. let's try not to knock the camera out um now I will preface this by saying every single kit that I have ever worked on um, except for the very first ones that I had that I didn't have one yet. I work with a light pad. Um, was it necessary for this kit? Not at all. The symbol clarity on the field, the drill field, was spot on. Um, I will say there were a couple symbols that I had a little bit of confusion with. Um, and I will try, I took some photos. I will try to put them up on the screen um, I will say, and I'm sorry, I keep saying um a lot. They may not look as obvious when I'm pulling them out in front of you here, but hopefully editing Lindsay remembers to put them in. And if she does, she'll probably congratulate herself. So these two don't look super, super similar, but on the canvas itself, this one looked more like a fuzzier version of this. And you can see the coloring is very similar. Um, so that did give me, personally, a little bit of hassle. Um, not enough that would deter me. Um, what was the other one? The H. And... Where did you go? This is why I have notes and I still am disorganized. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. This one. I keep calling it an M. It's not an M. So it's the H and the up carrot. I don't know what you want to call these. They don't really look super, super similar in symbol here, but on the canvas they did, especially when they were near each other. And you can see they are nearly identical in both color and sticker color. So that was a little bit of a deterrent for me. I also had a little bit of difficulty that some of the symbols were dark symbols with dark letters. Um, I would love if companies did dark symbols with light letters on them so you could read them more easily. Uh, there was also, in terms of symbols, things that I liked and disliked. Um, I don't love, this is again a personal preference, no knock at any company. Um, it's Again, my preference. I don't love when companies do inverted of each other. So you have the greater than and less than symbols here. Especially since I don't work on my canvas upright the entire time. So, uh, and they weren't that far off. You can see they're both different shades of green. So if I'm working on my canvas and it's upside down, I will actually put the container upside down on my desk so I know which one I'm grabbing. But these are just things I can nitpick at. They're nothing that would deter me from purchasing again. Um, the long and short of it is, would I buy another kit from Craftably? Absolutely. Uh, let's see, what else did we have? Um, something that does not bother me, but do does bother some people, is they had training wheels. Uh, if you don't know what that means, basically, the way the symbols are on here where the square would be a square on the drill field, and then the symbol would be outlined. And if you don't place your drill pretty much perfectly over it, you can see underneath it. Now, I know that bothers a lot of people. For me personally, 
it's not a big deal because who's looking at my canvas like three inches away from it? You know what I mean? You can't tell looking at it right here, anything underneath it. Um, and I don't even think that if I bring it up close, you can look at that sparkle, you guys. Yes, look how pretty she is. This is my kind of image. Big eyes, the monarch butterflies. Um, there's just something so wonderful on it. Now, my biggest downfall to this, and it wasn't even about the kit itself, was the baggies that the drills came in. So, usually we're used to getting the clear bags and they have the numbers on them. So, for this one, um, the way they labeled the bags... It was, there's no strip behind or anything like that. I was trying to see if I still had one, but somehow the baggie disappeared that I saved for this video. So, go figure. <laughs> if you guys haven't figured out, my life is a mess. My life is always a mess. Anyway, um, so especially those bags that were fuller, you had to really maneuver the drills out of the way to see what the numbers were. Now, they did bag them sequentially in order of DMC code, which is great, but... If you didn't kit up that way, or if they somehow got separated, you'd have to pour it out to see what the number was. That's just something that I found slightly difficult, but it wasn't something, again, that would deter me from this. Um, one other thing that, again, is just a personal preference. I don't know. I, I, I don't want this video to come off as, like, me complaining, because I absolutely love this kit, and I would 100% buy another kit from them. Um, when you have the numbers listed and then you have the symbols as numbers, when they don't match up, it throws me off. So for example, right here, number 49 was symbol number two. Now that one's not a super huge one because it was at the end. There was here, 30 was number three. I've had kits where like symbol number one is uh, actually like color number three. And if you use the stickers that they provide you with, you see them there. And sometimes it's confusing when you're looking on your canvas and you're going, okay, there's a three on here. Do I want the one that's labeled three or the one that's number three? But um, really the bags were the only thing that threw me off a little bit. Um, like I said, the symbol clarity was really nice. The drills were beautiful. Look at that shine. Oh, I love this. And who doesn't love... A good little snack size, a palette cleanser, if you will. And it's legally licensed. So this kit gets the uh, Life of Lindsay seal of approval. Don't know why I just did that. But uh, that's all I have for you for this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more post reviews in the future, please let me know down below. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you, before you leave, you give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you are there, make sure you hit that notification bell. I do not upload on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record when she is sleeping or sleeping. So I just finished this, I don't know, Within the last half, half oh, within the last half hour. Oh Lord! And um, I said, should I film the post review now, or should I do it later? And my husband said, why not go for it now? It's fresh in your mind. So here we are. I absolutely love this, and I definitely would recommend Craftably. So, um, happy diamond painting, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.